Thanks for joining me again, bike enthusiasts. My name is Sean, and this is Bananas for Bikes. This will be part two of a multi-part series on installing a Bafang BBSO2 on this uh, Trek Shift 2 step through uh, women's bike. So if you haven't checked out part one, I'll leave a link in the description below. In part one, I go over the bike, what I look for in choosing a bike to make sure that it's appropriate to become an e-bike, as well as the overview of, of looking at the bike and identifying what might need to get upgraded or fixed or changed, such as the chain or the brakes or the drivetrain or the grips or the seat, whatever it may be. So how I look at the bike um, to make sure that it's you know tuned up and ready to go. So as promised, part two, here uh, I had the kit delivered this morning. This is from AliExpress. I believe the store is called Best E-Bikes. It's where I've bought my e-bike kit and where this e-bike kit was purchased, so highly recommend it. The uh, Bafang BBS O2, you'll notice, I'm actually quite surprised at how small this is compared to the, uh, the Bafang um, SHD, but I, I'm very excited. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome kit. So. Let's do a quick overview of what I have here on the table. It looks like a big mess from what you guys are seeing. But to recap, yesterday I removed the crank arms and I looked over the whole bike. I removed the uh, front derailleur because you don't need that with the Bifang kit. I removed the chain. Now the chain didn't have a, um, a quick link. And it looked older. I probably could have cleaned it and made it work, but I just went ahead and got this um, SRAM. This is an 8-speed because the bike has a 7-speed cassette, so this will work for a 7 or an 8-speed uh, cassette. So I have um, a new chain here that I bought today. The owner also wants some fenders, so I bought some. Um, these are Planet Bike. I believe they're called Cascadia fenders. Uh, this is... Um, these will work for a two inch wide tire, a 26 inch size rim. I also bought a kickstand. Uh, this is by um, Portland Design Works PDX out in Portland, uh, Oregon. So uh, representing local companies here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a nice kickstand on there for her. Now this kit is awesome because it came with this cool little front light. So we're gonna go ahead and play around with that front light, see if we can get that going for her. That'll be really awesome. Uh, the kit also has some extra wiring um, and other doohickeys. It's got the LCD screen, which we'll check out later. It also has your thumb controls, so your um, up and down, your settings, your info, and your on and off button. It also came with uh, crank arms. You have your new crank arms for this kit, so you will have to remove your pedals or get new pedals for your Bifang kit. It came with these two wires. This is going to be used for uh, the brake cutoff sensors, so I'm going to have to go ahead and install those. And then it just has some other wiring that you need to determine the speed so that the um, motor and the um, display and the bike all talk to each other. And then the chain ring. I don't know what size chain ring this is. I'm hoping it's a 48, but I'm not sure. Uh, it says right here, oh, this is a 44 tooth. This will work. It's not gonna be great for top speed, but I don't think uh, the owner is really looking for top speed. You can always swap these out later if you want a larger um, chain ring. And then some other nuts and bolts, which I will show you guys how I install them later. Now, oh, and then the battery. So I don't know what size battery she ended up getting. It comes with the charger here. Um, a set of keys, and then this massive 48 volt, I think it's like a 15 or a 17 amp hour battery. It's nearly as big as my 52, uh, 52 volt, uh, 14 and a half amp hour battery. So this is very, very nice battery. I'm very excited for this. So real quick, let's just go over some of the tools that you might need. Um, this is by no means an extensive list of tools. I have another video out there floating around on this channel that goes over the tools, but you will need a set of Allen keys, four, five, six, 
uh, mil, eight mil for your um, pedals or your crank arms, as well as some of these smaller ones for the mini nuts and bolts that come with the kit. You'll need about a million zip ties of all different sizes and widths. This is only a small fraction. Something to cut the zip ties with. This is a nice pair of pliers. You want to use a pair of pliers I can really get, get in there. A uh, pair of scissors, you'll have a little nub that will be very, very sharp. So get a nice pair of pliers that will cut flush with the zip tie. A uh, screwdriver, the crank puller, which you saw yesterday, a bottom bracket removal tool. This one has um, its threaded bottom bracket, but it's like the, a square taper. So I needed this um, Park Tool BBT32 tool. Um, I have a pair of uh, cable cutters. Probably won't need them, but um, depending on if you need to um, redo any of your brake or shifter cables, uh, these are a absolute must. The tool to install the Bafang, this is what you'll use to wrench down the, uh, the locking ring as well as the outer uh, locking ring to make sure that motor doesn't shift around on you. This is a chain, break, uh, chain separator tool. I also needed a chain breaker yesterday for that old chain, but if you have a master link on your chain, something like this um, Park Tool MLP 1.2 will do the job. A pedal wrench, this is a 15 mil, um, so you'll need a pedal wrench. I recommend, although it's not necessary, this is a gauge to determine the stretch on your chain. So it's called a chain stretch gauge. Park Tool CC 3.2. Um, this determines when you need to replace your chain. Uh, a pair of pliers, perhaps, or, uh, or a pair of um, cre a crescent wrench to use on this um, the Park Tool for the bottom bracket removal. So that's most of the tools. It's not extensive. Um, if you've never worked on bikes before, you'll probably need to go out and buy some tools, but they're not very expensive, and if you plan to do your own bike maintenance, they always come in handy. So let's go ahead over to the bike and get this kit installed.